Hello, my name is Sarah Rasner and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Aberystwyth University in Wales. I study the ecology of microorganisms and how they interact with their environment. And at the moment I'm working on a project called Micromelt that studies how bacteria and viruses that live on top of glaciers or in the snow and ice on the surface, how they help shape the nutrients that fall with the snow and then as the water carry the nutrients down towards the sea, the bacteria and viruses that live there um, change those nutrients. So what lands on the glacier is not necessarily what ends up in the sea. And that's very important because the glacier is a great source of nutrients for the coastal seas around um, polar and uh, both Arctic and Antarctic uh, coastlines. Um, it's a very abundant sea with lots of krill and uh, other small uh, plants and animals that are then food for fish, penguins, whales even. But we don't really know uh, the impact of, of the nutrients that come down from the glacier, so we need to figure that one out. Um, the best thing about my work is that it's very varied. I get to do lab work, I get to do office work, which is great when it's raining. I get to look at great <clears throat> at interesting data sets and figure out just what is going on. Uh, but I also go, get to go on field work if I'm lucky. So last year I went to Svalbard in the Arctic. Um, I spent most of my time in a lab filtering water, but I actually got to go out on the glaciers as well. And I had a lovely view from my window. Uh, this year in January um, and early February, we went to Livingston Island, which is one of the South Shetland Islands, just off the tip of the Antarctic Peninsula. And we spent a, just over a month there. Um, again, I was mainly filtering water in the lab, but we had penguins outside the canteen. We could see humpback whales in the bay from the window. And uh, we were surrounded by glaciers and really interesting, almost moon-like um, landscapes. So that was the best thing. And then obviously we came back and COVID hit. Um, as a result, I haven't been able to do all the lab work I had planned to do. So right now I'm mainly working on looking at data, um, learning to program in Python better and also reading up on a lot of the um, interesting research that other people are doing so that I know what's going on in the world of research and so that when I come back to the lab um, I can generate more data and then um, draw better conclusions from, from our results. Um, I'm hoping to go back to the lab soon possibly even this month, and I'm in a clean lab because the samples we have have so little um, DNA in them, so few living organisms that you have to be very, very clean so that you don't accidentally introduce bacteria from your skin or your clothes or just from floating in the air. So I will probably be in the safest uh, place of the in, in the whole of the university campus when I get back. But that's what I'm looking forward to. So um, I'm really glad that you um, decided to join in on this, uh, watching this e-panel. And I hope you really enjoy what you uh, learn from the Soapbox Science event. Thank you very much.